Hello. I'm going to be reading today from the Gospel of John, chapter 17. This is Jesus' prayer. And I really pray, um, and my intention is as I read this, is that anybody that is listening, that the Holy Spirit is going to reveal to you things that you've never seen before in reading this. Um, because really, you know, people can teach and do things all day, but really it's the Holy Spirit um, that reveals to you in your own mind the truth. And He is going to reveal that, especially if we offer it up. So if you see anything in your mind as we go through this, if the Holy Spirit brings something to you or something that comes up, just give that to the Holy Spirit and just ask Him, God, I offer this up to you. Please take this, uh, whatever it might be, if it's if it's unforgiveness or pain or anything that you might feel. Just offer that up to Him, and He will take that, and He will multiply that forever for you in spirit and in truth. So, I'm going to go ahead and read this. I'm going to read uh, starting in chapter 17. Um, this is... Jesus' prayer. Father, the time has come. Glorify your Son, that your Son may glorify you. For you granted him authority over all people, that he might give eternal life to all those you have given him. Now, this is eternal life, that you may know that they may know you, the only true God, and Jesus Christ, whom you have sent. I have brought you glory on earth by completing the work you gave me to do. And now, Father, glorify me in your presence with the glory I had with you before the world began. I have revealed you to those whom you gave me out of the world they were yours you gave them to me and they have obeyed your word and this is Jesus's prayer for his disciples now they know that everything you have given me comes from you for I gave them the words you gave me and they accepted them. They knew with certainty that I came from you, and they believed that you sent me. I pray for them. I am not praying for the world, but for those you have given me, for they are yours. All I have is yours, and all you have is mine, and glory has come to me through them. I will remain in the world no longer, but they are still in the world, and I am coming to you. Holy Father, protect them by the power of your name, the name you gave me, so that they may be one as we are one. While I was with them, I protected them and kept them safe by that name you gave me. None has been lost except the one doomed to destruction so that scripture would be fulfilled. I am coming to you now, but I say these things while I am still in the world so that they may have the full measure of my joy within them. I have given them your word and the world has hated them for they are not of the world any more than I am of the world. My prayer is not that you take them out of the world, but that you protect them from the evil one. They are not of the world, even as I am not of it. Sanctify them by the truth. Your word is truth. As you sent me into the world, I have sent them into the world. For them I sanctify myself, that they too may be truly sanctified and I just want to stop a minute and point out that Jesus um, back 
in a few verses back, he prays for oneness. He prays for oneness of all the disciples, that they will be one with each other. And God does call us to oneness, to be one, to be one with each other to be in holy relationships where we see each other as we would want ourselves to be seen or we see each other as God sees us already and how do we know how God sees us that is through the Holy Spirit which Jesus is praying for us right here that we will receive the Holy Spirit and that we will become one because God has destined it for us and there really is you know two choices and it's to accept truth or to accept the world of illusions the world that is not even real and Jesus is pointing that out to us here Jesus prays for all believers at uh, verse 20 is where we're at now my prayer is not for them alone I pray also for those who will believe in me through their message that all of them may be one father just as you are in me and I am in I am in you may they also be in us so that the world may believe that you have sent me I have given them the glory that you gave me, that they may be one as we are one, I in them and you in me. May they be brought to you complete, to complete unity, to let the world know that you sent me and have loved me even as you have loved me. Let me read that again that you have sent me and loved them even as you have loved me father I want those who have given me to be with me where I am and to see my glory the glory you have given me because you loved me before the creation of the world righteous father though the world does not know you I know you and they know that you have sent me I have made you known to them and will continue to make you known in order that the love you have for me may be in them and that I myself may be in them thanks for listening everybody I really hope that this speaks to you and reveals and brings up things that you've never seen before and that the Holy Spirit would speak to you and show you new truths and anything that you have questions on ask the Holy Spirit for he has all truth he has all knowledge and he has the only knowledge that we really want so go to him and ask him and he will reveal because it's promised here by Jesus Jesus promises us that he sent the Holy Spirit and the Holy Spirit has come to reveal to him the words that Jesus spoke, which is all truth. And the Holy Spirit will do that for us, undeniably. He must if we ask, and he will. So, thank you everybody. God bless you. Have a great day.